Okay, welcome to Meldrum Art Tips number two. Um, basically, this is a continuation of number one. Um, I'm showing more hands-on this week how I actually wet and stretch the paper. So let's just jump into it and um, go to my bathroom. Boop. So I'm just putting cold water into this. Um, I might as well film a little bit. Okay, so my tank is uh, full enough, so I'm going to stop. And remove the clamp, otherwise this will fly all around the place. Um, it has done several times and wet me a lot. So I'll take this out of the picture. And yeah, so I'll um, still out of frame. So um, I'll be back soon with some paper. So here's my paper. Oh, it's a, bit, it's a, bit, a bit cramped in here. But anyway. Here's uh, my sheet of, full sheet of um, Saunders Waterford uh, rough. Um, I think it's, um, well, it's actually called the uh, text here. Well, anyway, so um, basically I just drop it in and um, it needs to soak here for well, at least 10 minutes, but um, I usually give it a half an hour. and. Um, I'll be putting one more in. Um, three. I'm doing three altogether, but um, it's too much to have in this confined space. So um, yeah. So do these things slowly. Don't try. Don't try and rush it because um, if you try and rush it, it just never works out. And then um, I roll it up once it's um, pliable enough, soft enough. So, so there's a roll. So, um, I'll be back soon. Let's get another one. Okay. So, here's another sheet. Okay, so um, here's the second one. And like I said, just um, take your time. Because if you do it too fast, you'll uh, put a crease in the paper. And once you get a crease, you can never get rid of it. So um, patience is a virtue, as I say. So um, the reason why I like this paper stretcher, you'll see in a minute, um, is um, I, I tried doing the gum tape, taping it on a board. And one, you have to have a very thick board so that the board doesn't bend because there's enormous pressure once the paper starts drying. And um, I have to confess, when I started off, I never actually succeeded. Um, the tape always um, lifted off and um, it was just failure after failure. And so um, I saw these guys online, um, and that's why Oops, I got one, a small one first, just to try it out. And, and then I basically ordered three of each, uh, of the full, full arc, half arc, yeah, three of each. And um, I've been using them for quite a few years now, and um, I think they're great. Okay, so um, here's my setup. Um, the paper's soaking in the bathroom. And um, I'll bring a sheet in and put it on here. And then I'll put the board on top. And before that, I'll have um, waxed the board a little bit. I'll show you that in a while. And then finally, I hammer in the rubber tubes wires, whatever. Um, I need to um, wax, um, can you see this? Wax the edge here. Um, don't do it over the towel because that won't be good. But I'm just going to, I hope you can see this, but I'm waxing here. Oh, i got a camera over here of course as well. Can you see that? See the camera on my head? 
Yeah, I always feel clever when you've got one of these cameras on your head. Anyway, I'm just rubbing some wax, candle wax. I just broke the candle up. Oops. And that um, prevents the paper from um, sticking later. Uh, say, in, it can be like in a month's time, you can um, take it off again. Because uh, it might take you a while to actually paint. Um, okay. So, that's ready. Now I'm going to go and get some paper. There seems to be some dirt in the water. But basically, take the board and I place it down on the paper. Okay. Then I fold the edges. Just a little bit. I'll do, and I, yeah, I don't know how much you'll see of this, but anyway, I'll try. Um, I'm going to basically take one of the these lengths, the longer ones, and I will bang it in here. So it's a bit of a noisy thing this time. So, um, anyway, so. basically the, the paper stretch now and then once it dries it'll become um, really tight and um, so what I do is actually uh, before it dries because it gets very um, stiff when it dries so I cut off the, um, the surplus The reason for this is that it just gets in the way, it's, and it's actually very sharp when it hardens. And you find you can't put it down properly on the table, etc. etc. It's very unwieldy, even though it's, it's just cotton. I hope you're seeing this okay. Uh, camera stuck on my head. I know it's, it moves around a lot. So what can I do? I'm not a professional. <laughs> okay, so you saw how I put together the paper on the little um, perfect paper stretcher and I think this size was actually a good little size too because the other ones are so big it's very hard to get into the picture but um, yeah so uh, I hope this video was of help more help than maybe the first video um, I was just talking too much um, so this is more hands-on and I think the videos in the future will be more hands-on and uh, more practical and uh, less blah 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 Okay, well, see you next time for Magic Art Tips. Mm -hmm.